Hello, in this video we'll be talking about the Chinese history from year 1908 to 1967 and the inauguration of Emperor Puyi based on the movie The Last Emperor. In the field of technology, the Chinese have invented many vehicles. One of the most significant inventions is the litter, a class of human-powered wheelless vehicles used to transport individuals. Invented during the Xia dynasty in 2100 BC, this mode of transport is mostly used by the elite such as the rulers and divinities. The emperor, however, will be transported in a small room upon a platform borne on the shoulder of a dozen people. These litters are commonly used during state ceremonial or religious festivals. There are three specific types of litters, the shoulder carriage, the civil litter, and the official litter. The shoulder carriage is used to carry the bride to her wedding ceremony. The civil litter is used by commoners and the official litters are used by mandarins. The first coal-powered car was a Chinese invention created by Tang Zhongming. After returning from studying abroad in France in 1926, he worked to develop a charcoal-powered car due to the world oil crisis. In 1931, he created an internal combustion engine powered by charcoal and mounted it in an automobile. During World War II 1937, his car grew in popularity due to the high price of oil. The most prominent governmental system is the imperial system, a monarchy system where the emperor acts as the absolute ruler who oversees over six boards of ministries. The Qing dynasty, spanning from 1644 to 1912, is governed with the imperial system. Appointments were split between Manchu noblemen and Han's official. Other than that, other matters were decided in the inner court which was dominated by the imperial family and emperor. After the Xinhai Revolution, China became a republic from 1912 to 1949. During this time, the emperor still maintained his status which ended in 1945. China's government system alternates between the years. Later on, China went through a communist period from 1949 to 1976. During the communist period, the country is controlled by a single party and everything was controlled by the government, resulting in a classless society. The emperor's dragon robe is loaded with artful ornaments, which has many hidden symbolism for good luck. The undergarments featured the oceans and mountain ranges of the world, which symbolize the emperor, the son of heaven. The color of the robe is yellow, which is the color of celebrations, and it brings good luck to the people. The image of the moon, sun and stars symbolize three brilliant sources of lights, while the mountain symbolize the protection of the Empress Regency, whereas the insects symbolizing the wisdom, the cup of wine symbolize honesty, loyalty and piety, and the fire symbolize honesty. This robe has been passed down since the beginning of the Qing Dynasty in 1644. During the Qing Dynasty, Confucianism was the dominant and officially sanctioned religion. Confucianism and Taoism, later joined by Buddhism, constitute the three teachings that historically have shaped Chinese culture. Besides that, there was Chinese folk religions which worshipping to gods and ancestors were practiced. After the Xinhai Revolution, due to urbanization and western influence, the new intellectual class see religion as an obstacle to modernization. The Forbidden City represented the peak of architecture in ancient China for thousands of years, where the emperor lived and ruled. Construction in the 15th century, over 15 years, the Forbidden City covers 72,000 square meters of land with 980 buildings and 9,999 rooms in the heart of Beijing. Balance and harmony were heavily emphasized in the design, having a symmetrical layout along the central north-south axis, where the upper class lived on the left side and the lower class oppositely as traditionally left met promotion and right meant demotion. The palaces were mainly built of wood, marble, and bricks, separated by brackets of walls and decorated by paintings, which also protects the wooden structures from deterioration. Paintings of dragons and phoenixes are common because dragons represent emperors and phoenixes for empresses. The buildings are painted mostly of the imperial color, which is red and yellow. The roofing and eaves are also decorated with mythical animals on different roofs to display special purposes or meanings. The heights of the terraces are also determined on a hierarchy system according to the status of the palace and owner. Lion heads placed around the terraces are used as decorations 
as well as draining systems. The coronation ceremonies of Chinese emperors are always spectacular and stunning events. The enthronement ceremony begins in the main hall of the Forbidden City called the Hall of Supreme Harmony. The Emperor will wear the gold dragon robe, advisor will wear black robes with special shoulder pads, and family members will wear red. As the Emperor is seated on the throne, the ceremonial scroll and seal are brought forth. The scroll officializes the coronation of the emperor and has the date and emperor's name written on it. The jade seal, however, is specially made for the emperor and bears the title of Emperor on it. As the Emperor walks out to the courtyard, a servant will accompany him with an umbrella. The outside courtyard is filled with People, including the emperors, ministers, knelt in rows in front of the hall. Oi! As the emperor emerges, an advisor directs the crowd to bow. This continues for a few repetitions. Once this is completed, the Emperor proceeds to the Imperial Litter. He is then brought to the Meridian Gate, accompanied by the stately procession. Here, the Emperor's accession edict is then read out to the nation. To conclude, the coronation ceremony clearly highlights China's past governmental system and the social status of the emperor. The emperor is regarded as the son of heaven and has divine power and judgment. This is shown in the intricate enthronement ceremony.